Hey, Parker here. I haven't recorded anything for the channel for too long, so thought I'd just do this. I'm going to show you my Steam profile. I don't have many games, but the games I do have, I play all the time. I'm sorry if it's really laggy. This is World of Guns Disassembly. It. I've only played 110 minutes. That might look like an 11 to you. But, um, yeah, I've only played 110 minutes of it. So, yeah, I don't... I really like it, it's just I haven't played it that much anymore. Um, let's launch this up. It's not too demanding of a game. It's free. All of the games on here that I have downloaded are free. Not including, maybe, if there's, like, in-game purchases or anything like that. But I'll cut you straight to the game. Okay, so here it is. I just like it because basically what you can do, you can just you can build guns, take them apart, you can paint them. Um, let's just start with an easy one, which is the 1911. Let's go. A um. Field strip, just to show you guys the disassembly part of it. Oh, this looks like shit on the recording window. Hopefully you guys can bear it. Hopefully. But when you click on parts, you can click arrows. Basically, this is the magazine. If you don't know anything about guns, this is the magazine. Click this arrow. It'll bring it up. Damn, these funky controls. You can click the magazine, and it'll kind of make it transparent. You can see through it. So, it's really a good game if you want to learn how guns work and what makes them work. It's basically just a hammer and a pen. It's on the bullet, you know? That's where the pop comes from. Okay, and basically there's some features, like X-ray, which allows you to see completely inside the gun. I really like it. There's another feature called plastic, which I'm pretty sure shows you the different how materials are different on the gun. You can turn them both on. So altogether, it's just a really cool game, and I actually do recommend it. So yeah, right on to the next game. I might actually play this a little bit, just because you know I've gotten back into it. Oh, one more thing. You can see like inside the bullet hole, which is really cool. And let me zoom in. Um, yeah, so here we are inside the barrel of a gun. The ins the insides of the gun aren't that spectacular, but I don't think they're supposed to be. Actually, this actually looks pretty nice from the inside. Not as good as it does from the outside. Like, these models are nice. They're not high, high resolution, but they're very realistic. Nothing like you'd see in a Call of Duty game. Not even close. But, so, yeah. I'll be back with the next game. So, here we are, back in my profile. One game that I actually downloaded um, just a couple of days ago. I've only played five minutes of. This is a Verdi game. I don't recommend it. It's kind of a ripoff. Okay, so this game, basically you grow your own plant. I'm not too much into plants, but it's fun. Because you know, you can name stuff, anything you want. But to buy new seeds, it actually costs money. It's a free game. No wonder they made it free. It costs nine cents for a seed. Shit, it's a virtual game. Fun. Like, I guess people get attached to it because, you know, it's kind of like a wireless to one things, Tomokachis, whatever the fuck that are. Yeah, but. Um, it's kind of like that. People. I've read some comments. People who haven't got five stars said they just got attached. So here's my plant. That's my snail. Oh, yeah, and this only plays in, like, the resolution of this whole game. 
Oh crap, it's not responding. I'll be back. Motherfucker. Yes, finally. Do not crash this time. There we go. Everything's grown up to size. Oop, I got a few weeds. But when I told you about how um you can name stuff, there you go, that's my snail. His name is Dick. And you can spray him. And now he's a wet snail. A wet dick. Oh god. I just realized what I did there. And yeah, these little green things are weeds. You have to remove them. Remove all the weeds. I'll show you the rest of the names of my plants in a little bit. Okay, so right here in the middle, this is my bottom bitch. If you don't know what that means, that's a pimp slang word for the hoe he goes to first. The hoe tells all the other hoes what to do. It's like the top prostitute. Second down from the pimp. And yeah, since they're in the middle. Oh crap, let's see. She's sated. Um, sated. Yeah, you have to water them and everything. That's why some of the comments said that, like, they they would be at work. They'd check in every few hours to water their freaking plants. It's just really stupid. Yeah, and you can take stuff out of the ground and replace it. And I'm pretty sure there's a way to, like, to, like, well, you can replace the snail, too. Nice feature, you know? It's my favorite feature. But, yeah, there's a way to buy seeds. I don't know how. There we go. Click that thing. Okay, so... We can start. I think that's for like a new pot or something. Yeah, that's. Oh, this is the nursery. Yeah, see, look. Buy one for nine cents. That's crap. Why would I actually buy a fucking seed? Or a seedling, I should say. Um, you can do other things. Oh, I have a seedling to place. Let's place them right there. Okay. Um. Sound. God, thank God. I don't know if you could hear that, but the sound player is just really stupid. But yeah, so that's that game. Now on to the cooler games. Um, Robocraft. I downloaded it. I can't play it. I don't have like the right type of graphics or something. I don't know. Um, Unturned, this has been uploaded to our channel once, um, by Chris, he's my friend, he's the other person on this channel, if you don't know, and, yeah, I got the gold upgrade on Monday, it just rescanned stuff to go gold, um, I don't know how well they'll record on this, cause, and plus, it's good to hear the sound, but my recorder doesn't, like, automatically do the sounds, it's kinda hard process. We'll see if my whole thing crashes. Hopefully the recording is saved. If not, fuck my life. Oh yeah, and I've played it 123 hours. That's pure dedication right there. Uh oh. Oh god. Okay, I'm gonna have to, um, end this. Okay, here I am. I'm back. Yeah, that's just not all set up. There's something wrong with my unturned. I don't know what. Um, Postal 2. This is actually kind of a cool game. 
Oh, wait a sec, there's a mod. I'm, I'm gonna download this. Yeah, I love the Steam community. They're the best. It's the best. Yeah, but that mod just said RC car, and I really want an RC car. Um, let's see. Radio control car mod mutator adds RC transmitter weapon. Drive car or use drone mod. There's a drone. What do I type in? How do I use it? Thank you. Elemental. How do I acquire it in game? I have to download this. It probably isn't going to be the best time to have a new downloaded mod. But why not? Oh yeah. There's a multiplayer, but I tried it out and my I got a blue screen. So yeah, don't do that. Just stay with the single player. It's not and to me it doesn't seem like too much of a multiplayer game either. And this is what you get for a screen. Warning. You can pause the video and read that. I'm not going to read that for you. You're all smart adults. Not really. It'd be kind of weird if there's... You should know how to we read. How about that? Yep. So, here we are in Postal. I'm sorry if the frame rate is tanking. I need to get a better PC. I'm recording this on like a ThinkPad right now. For the Lenovo ThinkPad from 2000 something. Might even be 2000. Might be spot on. Monday. Yeah, so basically the whole story behind the game, which no one really ever does, is you got a whole week, well, a whole business week anyway, you have to do chores, like pick up milk and go do stuff and something bad always happens, like a terrorist blows someone up, somebody shoots, there's protesters, and you have to maul your way through them with guns and explosives. And it's just a really fun game. Not the most realistic. But you know, you can like chop off people's legs. You might have seen PewDiePie play it. But I've been playing it longer than him. Yeah, I kind of fell under the map. Just a bit. Just a bit. But this is the mod that I downloaded. Oh god. I gotta make up for the two frames. That my preview is running at. Um, you will see this car start turning and going, and you'll see it explode. And basically, in real, you can drive it around and then explode random people. And I will go explode one person. But you have to mind with the frame rate. I'll probably put an annotation or something on screen that tells you what to skip to if you just want to skip this piece of shit place. Okay, so here we are, as, um, but yeah, one thing you can do, just stand with me here, stand by me here, here we go. This is one of the best features of this game, right here, and that is the gas can. Oh my god, this is so laggy. Um, and you, basically you pour gas, oh no. Oh crap, I don't know why this is being so laggy. Well, of course I do, but... You have, basically, a gas can. And then you throw a match on it. And, oh no! Step away. That's where lag come from. But yeah, that's a really far, fun part of this. Okay, but... Let me show you... Let me just show you... The... Um the RC thing. You can basically go into like a third person view of the car and you can see at the top it says that to turn off the car somebody, somebody really stepped outside and got burned to death to turn out the car and then you can press right mouse RMB to detonate LMB to turn off the car and basically let's see if we can find someone Here we go, this looks like a nice person. A police officer. Let's wait for the video to catch up. And come Boo yeah. Ha. Another one of my favorite features of the game, you can kick. 
Oh god. But yeah, so that's Postal. I totally recommend this game. Oh yeah, and I totally recommend Unturned, but... I forgot to say that. Oh no. But uh, yeah. I'll be back to you in a second. Is my... That is my Steam inventory right now. Um, if you want to donate to my GoFundMe so I can get a new PC, you may do that. You totally can do that. That'd be very, greatly appreciated. And I'm working really hard to get our um, AdSense up so we can have a channel donate button. But, yeah, for now, this has been Beast Mode. Oh, wait, no, not Beast Mode Gamers. Sorry for my other channel, which I'll put an annotation and a link in the description too. But this has been Chris and Parker Productions, or Parker and Chris. Preferably Parker and Chris. But yeah, um, we'll see you later, and bye!